guess what, you guys? I'm making something really delicious. It's a strawberry icebox pie, and there's very little baking involved. You're gonna love it. Start off by making the crust. I have 10 graham crackers here. Grind them up, food processor. Then add two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, good. Fine crumbs, and then add your butter. It's five tablespoons of butter. Everything needs to combine, and the crumbs need to be fully moist. Good. Cookie crusts are so great, right? They're so easy. Into a nine inch glass pie plate. Have your oven preheating to 350 degrees. It's just a couple minutes in the oven. Press the crumbs into the bottom and up the sides of the pie plate. I like to use the bottom of a dry measure. It works really well for both compacting it and getting it even. Straight into the 350 degree oven until it's just slightly more golden brown and set. That'll take about 12, 14 minutes. All right, when the crust comes out of the oven, make sure that you let it cool completely before you add your filling. I need eight cups of sliced strawberries. I need to start with two cups of strawberries to make sort of a sauce that you then add the uncooked strawberries to. So measure two cups of your strawberries and put them into a large skillet. One, two cups get cooked and six cups stay raw. Add a half a cup of unsweetened cranberry juice, or if you're lucky enough to find strawberry juice or any kind of juice that you like, just don't get something with a lot of sugar in it. Quarter cup of cornstarch. This is gonna thicken your sauce. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. And then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Before you start cooking it, mash everything up with a potato masher so that the strawberries start to release some of their liquid and also the cornstarch dissolves. That should take about a minute once it's come to a boil and then you can add the rest of your strawberries right to that pan. Six cups of more of sliced strawberries. This is the perfect thing to do if you go strawberry picking. Fill your pie plate. Spread your filling evenly into the pie. It'll be pretty full. You're kind of done except you have to wait four hours. Get it into the refrigerator. Chilled and ready to go. Spoon your whipped cream on top of your pie. This was about a half a cup of cream. You can use more if you want to. A couple of fresh strawberries on top and you have a beautiful, almost no-bake pie. Fresh berries, anyone? It's summer, which means fruit desserts are on the agenda. And today, it's a very simple, straightforward, but fantastic strawberry cobbler. Cut up two pounds of strawberries. You're gonna need a total of six cups. You're gonna mix everything together right here in this bowl for the filling. Add a cup of sugar, a third of a cup of cornstarch. It seems like a lot. Strawberries are very watery, so you need a lot of thickener, so don't skimp on that. Then a teaspoon of salt, coarse salt. Don't use fine salt. Well, if you do, just use a half a teaspoon. And then two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Get your oven preheating to 375 degrees because this is not gonna take very long to put together. Transfer this to a two and a half quart baking dish. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's at least two and a half quarts so that the juices don't overflow. Then you can make your biscuit mixture. Here I have one and three quarters cups of all-purpose flour. To that, add a quarter cup of sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of coarse salt, and one and three quarters teaspoons of baking powder. Whisk everything really well to combine, and then you can add your cold butter. It's six tablespoons of cold butter. I just like to work this in with my fingers. I think it's faster. To that, add one cup of heavy cream. Then what you wanna do is sort of dollop this on top of your strawberry mixture. I like to use two tablespoons to do it. You wanna mix your dough just until it holds together. You don't wanna over mix it. Scoop it onto your fruit. The dough is kind of sticky, so it's nice to use the tablespoons to get the dough on top. And then you need to make about nine total. Then what you want to do, just for color, you don't actually have to do this, is brush the tops lightly with just a little bit more heavy cream and then sprinkle with some sugar. Also, this is optional. You don't need to do it. But it adds a nice crunch and helps with the golden color on the top. Then you want to bake it 375 degrees, hour and 10 minutes. Wow, look at that bubbling and golden delightfulness. Still a little juicy. Strawberry cobbler a la mode. What do you think? I'm gonna tell you what you think right now. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh my God. 
You have to make this. It is fantastic. Do you like hot fudge sauce? I love hot fudge sauce. And I'm gonna show you how to make a really fun, really kind of different sundae with it. The first thing that you wanna do is cook some puff pastry, something you buy. Take it out of the freezer section. Unfold it onto a lightly floured surface. The whole thing about puff is it has to stay cold until it goes into the oven. And then it puffs right up in the oven and it's fabulous. Roll it out just a tiny bit. You wanna be able to get six three and a half inch rounds out of each sheet. A little bit more flour maybe. You don't want it to stick. Do I have flour all over me? I think I do. Then cut three and a half inch rounds and put them onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And this is gonna be the base for your fabulous sundae. And these are gonna bake at 375 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. They need to be puffed and golden and dry in the center. Just clean up a little bit because there's some more stuff you have to do over here. Ready to go, make my hot fudge sauce. The best part of all. Half a cup of heavy cream. I know, it's fattening. So what? Of course there's heavy cream in it. That's what makes it delicious. Quarter cup of corn syrup. This actually really does help with the texture, so if you would be tempted to replace this with sugar, try not to. Pinch of salt, and then this can all go into a pot. Then add half a stick of butter, unsalted butter, two thirds of a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of cocoa powder. Go onto the stove and bring it all to a boil and let it simmer until it gets nice and thickened. Stir that all together. While you're making your hot fudge sauce, why not use your time efficiently and toast some walnuts to put on your sundae? About a half a cup is all you're really gonna need. You can do this in the oven too, but since I already have my puff pastry in the oven, I don't really wanna open it, so I'm gonna do it on top of the stove. To be super efficient with my time, I'm gonna cut up some strawberries. Just remove the stem end, the leaf topping, and then slice them up however you like. Okay, the hot fudge sauce has come to a boil. Just whisk it around and then it's done. It just needs to cool a little bit. The walnuts are almost done, so just pour them out onto your cutting board. I'll chop them up a little bit. You could put whole walnuts on there, but I'm not gonna. That's it. I think the puffs are done. Yes, look at that. Gorgeous. All right, these have to cool just a little bit. Now for the fun part. Take a puff, bottom of the bowl, scoop of ice cream. You want to? Have to. Vanilla ice cream, my flavor of choice with fruit desserts. Some of those delicious strawberries. Spoon them over the top. Then for the pièce de résistance, the hot fudge. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Nuts, fantastico. Don't you just wanna eat that right now? Screw dinner, eat this. No, I'm just kidding. Have dinner, but make it a healthy one, and then indulge at the end of dinner with this fantastic dessert. Mm -hmm.